guys it's Gina welcome back to my channel so today I have a quick little review I bought the Estee Lauder bronze goddess perfume the oil hair and body mist so I just want to review that uh, with you guys today I have literally done so much research on this perfume and I finally got my hands on it um I got a couple gift cards for Christmas so that's what I used to spend it on sorry that I look literally awful and I'm literally wearing the same shirt from my last video and that's because I'm recording it in the same day to kill two birds with one stone so here we are I literally look so disgusting but it's fine but anyways let's get right into it because I'm sure you guys are just looking for this review so here is the box actually a pretty big box there's literally only like two things in it so it actually was quite expensive the bronze goddess perfume that's the eau de parfum uh, that retails for 102 dollars on ulta's website and the oil shimmer body mist thing that retailed for $50 on Ulta's website. Um, and that was the cheapest I could really find it too. So that's what I paid for it. There's actually a lot of Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess perfumes. I just got the Ilde Parfum. There's also the Skin de Franche, however you pronounce it. <laughs> and then the Estee Lauder Azor. Um, but today I am just reviewing the Ilde Parfum and the oil and body spray. Um, it's like the oil and body spray is not really perfume, it's just a scented. Okay, so I open up the Ulta box and I have these two packs. This is the Eau de Parfum and this is the oil spray. I actually like the oil spray box better. First, I want to review Eau de Parfum. I've literally been dying to freaking smell this. I have literally been non-stop watching YouTube videos and all that stuff. And because like I was literally looking so hard for reviews and stuff on it, I wanted to give my opinion on it just to really help like truly describe what it smells like. Like, it was kind of hard to tell. Like, I always saw people say, like, oh, beachy and so damn lotion-y. And this probably is what it's mostly. It's probably the best, like, information you can give. But I just wanted to see if I can offer something new to the table to better describe it. So, here we are. But the box is really pretty and really shiny. It does look a little scratched up, though. Even though it is in this plastic wrap. But let's open it. I'm really so awful at opening things. What are even the scent notes? I should probably read you guys the scent notes, right? Then. Okay, so I have the scent notes pulled up on my laptop here. They describe it on Estee Lauder's website as a sensation sun-drenched blend of bergamot, warm amber, tiara flower, and vanilla combined with delicious creamy coconut. It says that the fragrance- Oh my god, I literally just wish God. <laughs> it says that the fragrance type is a solar floral. And for a further description, it says, Dive into endless amber with the warmth of this captivating eau de parfum now with an all new look. So let's just see. While I was watching some reviews, I didn't really see much about it being floral. I mostly heard that it just smells really like creamy and suntan lotion-y. So we'll see. I am literally so bad at opening boxes. I just rip everything. Okay, there we go. Ooh, it's like a blue like interior. Cute, very beachy. <gasps> and here we have, I'm literally so bad at opening it. And here we have the perfume. Oh my god. It's so pretty. The design difference that I noticed between the Skin de Franche and the um, Eau de Parfum is this little bar at the bottom. So that's how um, I told the difference when I was looking at the website. But the bottle is so cute. It has this like cute top and this like orangey juice. Pretty. It really matches like the name. But come on, let's smell it. That's what we're all here for, right? Oh my god. Literally, it is... This bottle is like covered in like blue shavings from the box. It's fine. Everything's fine. We're gonna open it. So here we have a naked wrist. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray it and I'm gonna smell it. And then we're gonna see what it smells like. One spray. Oh wow, it is really florally. Okay, yeah, it is definitely warm. It's actually not what I was expecting. Maybe all the reviews I was watching was for the Skin de Franche because this smells really like florally and really ambery. I don't really get that like creamy coconut and vanilla. I don't really get like suntan lotion either. I mean, I can kind of see it, but to me it just smells really, really warm. I can definitely smell the amber and definitely the tiara flower. To me, this smells really, really warm, but fresh, but it still smells really good. I got a big enough bottle. This is the big bottle. I forget how big it is. It's a 3.4 fluid ounce. Okay, but it definitely smells really warm. It smells a lot warmer than what I thought it was going to. I have no idea why this won't close. Oh, there we go. But the bottle's pretty and it still smells good. It's just definitely not what I was expecting. It's definitely a lot more warmer than what I thought it was going to be. It's really, really, um, not overpowering, but it's definitely a star 
in this perfume. So maybe I was watching like the Skin Day Franche reviews because everything that I was hearing was that it was like more like like a creamy coconut, vanilla. This smells way more floral and way more um, like ambery than what they were describing. But we still have one more thing to review here. We have the oil spray for hair and body. It's like this gold um, shimmer that's in it. Let's open it up. Once again, I'm horrible at opening things. But I like this box a lot better. I like the, um, it's almost like cheetah-ish, but if I, if, as if it was like blurred out or something. It definitely matches the name because it's very like brown and bronzy. Nice and shimmery. Has the same uh, blue interior on the box. It has the exact same cap, just a different size bottle. Gotta shake it up. Gotta shake it up. Gotta shake it. So when you do open it, um, the glitter is going to be separated from the juice that's in there. So smell it. Oh geez, it smells more like scent. I think the scent notes are different on here than the um, Eau de Parfum. It's definitely a really cute bottle, like just to display. I'm, I'm happy. Okay. All I see as a description on the website is lightly scented with seductive sun-kissed bronze goddess Eau de Franche fragrance, and it is still described as a solar floral. So this has the same scent as the Skin de Franche. So let's just smell it. Okay, it does smell really good. It is definitely sweeter than the Eau de Parfum put it down but it smells almost more like cinnamony i don't know if that's just because there's more amber or more of that um more of that tr flower but it smells like cinnamon but it does smell like cinnamon in a, like a good way in a good like sexy way it it just does not smell the way that i thought it was going to be it just smells really really warm and very almost spicy i could definitely smell why it's called a solar floral I definitely get the warmth and I get that tiara flower, but I, I just smell like cinnamon, which is really, really weird. Yeah, honestly, it just smells like a more creamier version of the um, Eau de Parfum. I can definitely get a little bit more of the coconut, but it's not very like in your face coconut. I can just see why I smell more coconut because it smells more creamy, but it smells like cinnamony, honestly. Definitely not what I was expecting with this perfume. I was expecting a little bit more in your face coconut and vanilla because I like those scents, but it's actually more of like a background player, to be honest to me. That's what that's how I smell it. A lot of people are probably gonna like beg to defer because like literally in all the reviews that I saw on YouTube is that they said it was more coconut and more vanilla um like that's like the first thing that you smell but to me that's honestly not what i smell i sm the first thing that i smell when i smell this <laughs> well the first thing that i get when i smell this is like cinnamon and i have no idea why it does smell good like nonetheless i just thought it was going to be a lot different than what i thought it was going to be so yeah so that is it for my um review of the bronze goddess line i hope this review was helpful to you guys I definitely needed, <laughs> a, I was definitely looking at reviews when I um, was looking into this perfume. Um, so I hope this helped somewhat and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.